Hey everybody, we got a picture from Frank. He won the haiku contest in episode 22. Frank hails from middle of freaking nowhere, Scotland, and he had this to say. Winning this resistance band has only inspired me further to reach my goal of furiously boning a redhead. Move, damn you! Larry, what's that black thing hanging from your pull-up bar? Oh, um, uh, good eye, man. Uh, those beads are hanging there basically just as a reminder for me to do pull-ups every single time I walk under the bar. Because my bar is hanging up all the time. I know not everybody, um, can do that. Like, they have to have it in a doorway with a door, so they have to take it down a lot. But since mine is up all the time, I figured, well, I, there, there was a time when I thought that I just wasn't being active enough in general. So I figured bars up all the time, so why don't I just do pull-ups on it every time I walk underneath the bar? So the the beads always catch my eye, so then I rem so then I n I remind myself. And uh, for a w for a while I was just doing one, and it was too easy, so then I just started doing two. And then like right now I'm doing five every time I walk underneath the bar. So I'm doing like fifty or sixty over the course of a day. And when they're spaced out that much, it's not as it's not hardly as bad as it sounds. If you take just a door, if you want to be more active in your daily life and there's a doorway that you walk through constantly it's that's a great place to just set up reminders for yourself to do something like every time you walk underneath the doorway to just do a body weight thing if you don't have um or do some squats or some lunges some push-ups or something because if you feel like you could be more active around the house and that's a really easy way to remind yourself so for me i like to leave up things there like uh, stuff I need to work on and it keeps it present in my mind so that I don't put it off till later. Oh, hi everyone. Doing the same workout can lead to boredom and burnout. Just like if you ate the same meal every day, you'd probably be bored. There are a couple of ways to avoid this problem. One is you can change your workout routine completely. The other is to spice up the workout routine you already have. So, there are three ways to do this, just like with food. Appetizers, condiments, and desserts. An appetizer is something you do beforehand to make you feel excited about working out. So when I swim, my appetizer is the jacuzzi. Sometimes I resist working out because I don't like feeling cold. But, if I take a dip in the jacuzzi beforehand, I get warm and relaxed, so my muscles feel great and I'm ready to go in the pool. A condiment is something that you add to your workout to give your normal routine a little boost of flavor. Some people like using music as a condiment. Another really great condiment is a buddy. Having a friend who is working out either in the same time in the same place or across town at the same time can be a really, really great motivator. My roommate Larry Leong is actually an awesome appetizer and a condiment because I'll see him working out and that'll make me want to work out. And then sometimes we'll be exercising at the same time. Either we'll both be in the living room stretching or he will be doing one of his crazy workout routines while I go to the gym. A dessert is something you use to reward yourself with after you're done working out. I really like to use the jacuzzi as my appetizer and dessert. I also really like the sauna after my swim. Whatever it is that makes you feel really great, it could be a date or a nice meal or a good night's sleep or a movie, that can be your dessert. So if you're having trouble getting motivated before a workout or you're in the middle of a workout that feels really tough, just think about that one thing that you're really looking forward to afterward. So. How are you going to spice up your workout? Bon appétit! Larry? Larry?